Hey up everyone, I hope that you're all doing alright today. Welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, welcome. Um, I've noticed I've got a few new subscribers recently, uh, so thank you for that and yeah, like I said, welcome if it's your first time here. Today we're going to be building a bohemian apartment. I haven't built a bohemian style sort of thing for a while, it's one of my favourite styles to like furnish with and decorate with and all that sort of thing and I really like the, the look of it and we've got quite a few objects in the game that can pull off this sort of look quite well and that's what I wanted to do and I thought I'll do an apartment because that's the sort of thing I was in the mood for and yeah that's what we're doing today. Um, I didn't part restrict this one, it does use quite a lot of packs. Um, I don't even know how many packs it uses, but it uses, yeah, like quite a fair amount. Um, I would like to say that the main packs it uses are like paranormal stuff and something else, but I don't even think there's like a main pack that it uses, so sorry about that one. If you wanted to download it, obviously, um, you'd need to have the packs that I used. But then there is sometimes where I used like one thing from a pack, like I think I used like a couple things from cottage living and then I use the country kitchen kit counters um, there's a couple of things I use from tiny living like there's few there's a few decorative pieces that you could probably do without and just replace them yourselves um, but yeah like I said it does use a lot of packs and the best way to sort of see what packs it uses is to just check the gallery and my ID on there is Hutch Plays if you didn't know so yeah if you do want to download this build um, I also built it in I think it's 13 13 or 13 12 21 chic street apartment i can't remember the exact number but i'll put it in the description um i'm pretty sure it's 13 12 i can't really see the top right top left sorry uh number let me try and look yeah i think it's 13 12 <laughs> it keeps blurring because of my reshade but um i'm pretty sure it's that so if you do want this apartment and you want to place it in the right one that's the one that it needs placing in um, and also, if you don't know how to like place apartments, um, there's a very simple like tutorial on how to do it. But yeah, it, it's just it'll count as like one big room when it's on the gallery. So if you just look up like how to place apartment Sims Four on YouTube, it should come up. Um, but yeah, that's just thought I'd mention that because sometimes I do get people ask me like, oh, how do I place this or whatever else. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope that you're all doing alright today. Happy Friday. It's Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Happy Friday. I'm so glad it's Friday. I feel like this week has proper dragged and I feel like I'm just ready to be in my pyjamas for a weekend. Although I'm going Christmas shopping um, this weekend so I won't be able to stay in my pyjamas like the whole time. But I'm hoping it's going to be like a quick sort of into town and back out because I don't, I hate shopping. I really don't like it. It can be fun. Like it depends what you're going for like i absolutely hate clothes shopping christmas shopping on the other hand it's a bit like better because i'm buying for other people and i always find that like more enjoyable than buying for myself don't get me wrong i do enjoy buying things for myself but i'm um definitely more of like a online shopper for myself rather than going into the shops i do need to get some like bits for myself like clothing wise i could do with some new jammers and like slippers and stuff but with like slippers I have to try them on which is really annoying and kind of like makes me cringe a bit because I imagine that other people have tried on like it's not like trying on shoes like when people try on shoes they just try them on it's like whatever but slippers I always imagine that people take the socks off to try them on in the shop and then like decide if they're comfy or not and the thought of that makes me like um <laughs> makes me feel a bit weird uh, but it is what it is it's just part of I can always like spray them with some disinfectant or something I guess uh, but yeah, I need some new like slippers and I need to do some Christmas shopping. So unfortunately, I won't be able to have like a proper lazy weekend. Um, but yeah, let me know what are you up to this weekend? Have you got any plans? And yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know where that one will go in. I kind of got distracted by looking off to a corner at um, a cobweb that I need to clean. Oh my God. So like a right scruff. But you know, you just get like a random cobweb. I've just got one of them in my office. But yeah, anyway, let me talk about the apartment to talk about my cobwebs in my house. So this part of the apartment was kind of inspired by a picture that I saw on Pinterest. And then that led to the um, the whole like decision of making a boho apartment. So I was looking at like um, inspiration for room builds, I think. And then I thought, why don't I just do an apartment? So uh yeah that's kind of what led me down that to that decision um but i started off with the couch from paranormal stuff and i really did like it but i just 
I wanted some colour and I wanted something like some warmth and I felt with the paranormal couch and then that base game like little armchair thing it just weren't quite working together well I were going to have the paranormal couch that matches uh, the armchair that matches the couch but it just I don't know it just looked a bit too plain a bit too boring and I don't I just didn't like it um, so I ended up swapping it out to some base game settees and a couch, no, a base game armchair and a base game settee. I say a couch because I think that's like universal, like settee is more, I think it's like northern, in it? Like it's like a northern England thing. I don't know if other countries say settee, but settee is basically a sofa or a couch. Maybe sofa is more universal, I don't know. I want to be understood by as many people as possible, so... I try not to use as much like northern dialect as possible but either way um, I changed the settees to the base game ones and I thought that that looked a bit better it kind of added a bit more like warmth to that section of the apartment and yeah that was I hope I explained that all right but that was the thought process behind all the changes and stuff which you'll see me change in a little bit um, but yeah I'm really happy with the like main living area the one thing I think it is just missing is just like a TV. Like there's nothing really there for your sims to do other than read. Um, sorry, my voice was running out there and I just had to like clear my throat. But yeah, you could put a TV there like on a little coffee table or something if you wanted. I tried putting one down but I just didn't like the way it kind of broke the room up in a way that I just didn't like. I kind of like the way that the floor plan just kind of flows into each other. Do you know what I mean? Like it's got the living area and then that goes into like a like a hallway type thing and then that into the kitchen dining area um so I, I didn't really like the tv when i first put it down so i just decided not to have it also i accidentally deleted the footage where i built the kitchen i built the kitchen and then i like went to the toilet so i stopped recording um so i like deleted the footage of it by accident i don't even know how i did it and it weren't in my recycling bin so not really sure what happened to it um, I probably weren't even recording it to be fair, I do that quite often. Am I recording now? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, don't know what happened to the footage but it got deleted so I had to like quickly re-record it so that's why a minute ago when I was building the kitchen it was using like actual funds whereas the rest of the video it's obviously like infinite money. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd explain that one because it does look a little bit weird to just see some money disappearing from the budget and then to cut to footage where there's no money. Um, but yeah, I went back and forth with the kitchen quite a fair bit when I was planning it. I wanted to use the parenthood counters but just something about them looked a little bit out of place um, and I wanted the boho theme to kind of go throughout the apartment so I thought that the country kitchen kit counters just looks a little bit more um, suitable for the theme and especially in that like light green swatch. I just think it looked really nice and I really liked that open shelving thing i think it looks a little bit out of place but i kind of like the way that it looks a little bit out of place because i feel like the boho sort of style not everything has to be like perfectly matching like it's not um it's not like a perfectly matching sort of style is it like you do have some sort of mismatching things here and there but it kind of works you know what i mean um, and I also decided to use some gallery art for this build as well. There was just something about the in-game art that weren't suiting this little dining area. I wanted to have some wall art up on the walls and I don't know, there was just something about the in-game art, nothing were really suiting. I wanted a certain type of like colour and there was nothing really there um, that I wanted to use so I ended up using gallery art. I always use the same person for my gallery art but if I ever use different versions I'll always write it in the description um, but I'll put their name on screen, screen? I'll put their name on screen now. Um, I really like their gallery art, it's really good. Uh, they've got a lot of variety, they've got a lot of different sort of styles um, and yeah it's just really nice and then a bit later on I changed the um, what you call it the frames of the photos to like a lighter brown swatch um, and I thought I'd show you uh, doing the bathroom I don't always include it but with apartments I tend to like always include it just because it tends to be a bit of a shorter video so might as well show it and there's obviously like less rooms than say like a big house or whatever so I thought I'd just show how, how I did it and I quite liked the look of it I'm not 100% sure if it really matches the theme. I feel like it does, but then if I look at it for too long, I'm a bit like, does it? Does it really match? Um, and I also use the same wooden flooring throughout. It's the one from Eco Lifestyle. I think it's the only thing that I use from Eco Lifestyle, which is kind of annoying because if you don't have that pack when you download it, obviously 
the flooring will be different but you can always replace it with whatever flooring you wanted um, and then I also wanted to use the wall art from Werewolves which again I think is the only item that I use from Werewolves but I just really like them I think they suit with the bathroom pretty well um, and then for the hallway type thing I felt like it was just missing something so I decided to put up some little like cupboard thingies and I think that towel cupboard I guess it's a towel cupboard laundry cupboard whatever you want to call it I think that's from cats and dogs I really like the look of that especially in that swatch I think it sort of breaks up between the living room and the kitchen like it kind of divides the rooms a little bit if you know what I mean like it kind of matches the floor but it doesn't match the other room so it's it's like I don't know how to explain what I'm on about I just feel like it breaks up the two different rooms even though they're still connected it kind of adds something in the hallway to just kind of break it up a little bit that's just my opinion of it anyway and then I used one of the laundry day stuff uh like side table thing is to just put a candle on and a plant and I also use a lot of plants from the um oh my god what is it called is it like plant it's the plant kit it's one of the kits we got where it, I think it's like plant lover oh my god what is it even called it's one of my favorite kits and I always forget what it's called it's the plant one anyway um and this apartment as well um I don't know if I mentioned it it's also a two bedroom apartment and I had it intended for a obviously set of parents and then their child daughter or something like that um but i also like to imagine that it was like a single parent's apartment just something about it like i don't know i imagined the sims that lived here would be like a single parent single mum and their daughter i liked the idea of that and yeah for the bedroom uh it took me quite a while when i was planning this one out to decide on what i wanted to do with it the colour of that bed is like the best colour in my opinion but I didn't really want like a white frame for it I wanted more of like a warmer frame but I ended up settling on that sort of bed because I just think it's like the best swatch of it it just really matches the uh the style that I was going for and I just yeah just really liked the look of it and I also used this base game wallpaper which is one of my favourite wallpapers in the game I had a brief sort of I said brief actually it lasted a few months I had a period of time where this was the main wallpaper that I used in a lot of my builds I really like the tone of it I just I don't know I just really like it and I might be going into I might be going into another obsession with it because as soon as I put it down I was just like yep that's the one that's the one that I want to use just something about it I don't know what it is I really like the white paneling I like the shade of pink I think I only like it in the reshade version I've, when I don't have my reshade turned on I don't like it as much but I think that's just because I'm so used to using reshade well i use g shade now but because i'm so used to having a g shade like preset i think all of the color of the game just looks better with it i don't think i could go back to like not using it um but yeah then for the rest of the bedroom i decided to put a tv in this room and i also put a tv in the kids room because obviously i didn't put a tv in like the living area so i thought they could each have their own tv in the bedrooms and i decided to go with the get famous um set of drawers because i thought that the tone looked pretty nice and i liked the little like yellow accent color on them so i decided to have a couple more pieces with yellow on them so like that chair which i really like that chair i think it's really cute and i really like the other one it's got like a bigger like frame to it i used that in the kids bedroom love that i think it looks great good i just kind of wish that all of the swatches had lights on them some i mean we'll get to it soon but some of the swatches of the chair that i'm going to be using in the kids bedroom not all of the swatches have lights on it and i find i don't really like that i kind of wish that they all had lights on i don't know we've got like these little fairy lights on them i wish that they had it um but yeah like i said i really like how the apartment turned out i had a lot of fun with it actually i really took my time with it um it took me ages to do it even though apartments don't normally take me this long i was just building at a very slow pace and sort of taking my time to like go through the swatches of things and the planning of it was just a lot of fun I just really enjoyed it I listened to a bit of Sims music while I was building and yeah it was just a fun time I felt really like relaxed and like chilled and yeah just like cozy and stuff I had a hot water bottle and I had my dressing gown on and a hoodie and yeah I just felt right like comfortable and it was nice which I, I always love when I have like builds like that where I can just sort of take my time with it and yeah just it was just nice and fun <laughs> and like really like cozy um and then i also decided to change the the little like coffee table decoration thing in the living room and i put down the little 
what's it called the tea set that we got with paranormal stuff because i thought it suited it a little bit better and yeah i just really like that little tea set i think it's really cute obviously it's not functional it's actually a, like a table lamp because it's got a candle on it um but i thought it suited the living room a little bit better um and then this is the kids bedroom i also changed the curtains in the main bedroom um when i was doing the screenshots because because i'd already used a lot of parks not that it really makes a difference but because i'd already used a lot of parks i didn't want to use the desert looks kit just for the sake of the curtains although i do really like them i'm so glad that we've got something like that in the game and i'll be definitely using them a lot more um but yeah i just really liked them but i did change them to the paranormal stuff ones the same ones that are in the kids bedroom um and yeah then after this room will be uh, the screenshots and yeah i'm gonna wrap up the voiceover now i hope that you enjoy watching this one and i hope that it was like chilled and cozy for you as it was for me when i was building it i kind of would like to get back into streaming soon i feel like i want to just do a cozy build with like no talking but i don't know if that'd be like fun to watch for other people i don't know i'll i'll see i'll see what happens but yeah if you did enjoy watching this video feel free to leave a like on it and if you haven't subscribed already feel free to do that as well if you want to and like I said, if you want to download this build, my gallery ID is Hutch Plays. My voice is running out. I haven't had a drink this morning yet. So probably the worst idea ever to start recording a voiceover when my throat is really dry. But anyway, I am actually going to go. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have a good rest of your day and I hope you have a good weekend as well. And I'll see you later. Bye.